DISCLAIMER! So, you probably already have watched part 1 of MG3 tutorial. If you haven't, then why are you still here? So, Clone forgot one part of the limiter on the bicep that limit the elbow bend to not bend backward. So, make sure you place this block on your frame so the elbow wouldn't bend backward and look awkward, you know? Now, let's get back into the tutorial. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. Hey nerd, today we will be continuing our mech tutorial on the new Proto MG. So let's let's kind of just like get right into it. Anyway, let's just start on the feet. Um, it looks very weird, but that's because it's not on the mech. As you can see, on the actual mech, it still looks very weird, but it's just not quite as bad, right? So we have to turn on 0.5 first, unfortunately. Let's just scale this part here. At another part, do this. Now we have this other part, and we scale it again. But this part over here, we don't need to scale it. Let's just put our move at a scale at one, and we, and we clone it to the other side. It's kind of crazy. The calves are completely symmetrical. You can do that later. No. Anyway, let's just add this other part. Let's scale it to be uh, I forgot to go the block measurements. So six by two by four. We got another block underneath that's just slightly larger, so that it's six by two by six. Then we put more bricks. It's honestly crazy how this build is a build. It's like the toe is done. Yep. The toe was very easy. Hopefully the rest of the tutorial will be easy. The torso. This has something here. On the back, on the heel. You can actually build the heel. And be done with the foot instantly. It's very simple. It's kind of just like a... Sideways. Like, tilt inwards. Yeah, it kind of just does a thing. Detailed descriptions. So that more sloping inwards maybe we can have some uh metal pipe sound effect falling on the floor maybe that would help aid in the building <laughs> we add this part here on the top to complete this the heel is done oh my god i thought we completed the heel let's go move on to the actual leg Looks like we place a block here on both sides. A bit more here. And one more here. Scale it. And just continue building a pattern. A sloping wrinkle. And then that builds into the, sh the shin of the mech. Which will look very bad. But it will look good once you customize it. You're supposed to customize the mech. Looks like I made a mistake. I guess we can actually just turn on 0.5 so that we don't make mistakes. Here we go. That was no longer a mistake. Please don't be a mistake. Wait. Let's keep continuing. Let me go inward slightly. And right, then we add the side of the ankle. And it's gonna be like a little thing that covers up the inner frame that we have. Then again, you don't really need to make the armor. But this is just to help people who don't really know how to make their mechs, you know? Really, the Basically. whole tutorial is just out here to help people who don't know how to make mechs, make mechs. Yeah, it is not needed. Well, did you say not needed? That means the viewers are not going to watch. You need to actually not say that. Because yeah, actually, you need to... Even if you're not going to follow this, you need to watch the entire video. Mech Gang says so. Hmm. My dad works at Roblox and he can... He'll ban you. And what? No, nothing else. And what else? Hmm? Hello, this here. That now we have the whole little ankle guard, but not the back of the ankle. So it kind of has an Achilles heel. As you can see, the ankle is like literally on the back. It's just not there. It's just, you can just completely see the inner frame. Well, this one is seven studs long. 
All right, let's get to our paint tool. Color this inner frame color. It should be over here on your paint tool, right next to like our actual black. And scale this to be seven studs. Got to place another one here. Color that also inner frame. Should be right here in line with the rest of that. And this a new brick on top of that, which is also inner frame color. And clone this to the other side. And just select the parts that spot let me move this uh, one more stud out and there it's good on the back here we have another seven stud tall brick but it covers that up and so the calf is partly covered up but not fully on top we'll continue this inner frame color bit it's gonna look pretty bad but you're gonna fix it and not me because i'm not gonna build your mech you're gonna build my mech we're gonna make it look good because this is actually my mech and now you're building my mech and it's then gonna be your mech and then it's gonna be a good mech see i think no you don't see because as you can see this inner frame bit looks disgusting all right let's go back to the front of the leg with the shin but we're actually we're actually on the knee now so get some bricks here and make this outline around this random gap in the uh, knee, which is not armor in the slightest. So you actually can armor this piece. It's, like, you can actually just, like, remove the entire armor, as I said before, and build a new mech. Do whatever you want. No! Do what I want! You need to stop. I think I need to continue. Because if I stop building the tutorial, then what's gonna happen? They're gonna stop building the tutorial. And then we make no ad mm. over now. Think about that. Mm. Yeah. Six by four by two. Add some tiny bricks here to smoothen out that bit. Some more right here. And the knee. But it's so it looks like a pseudo knee. But it's not a complete knee. Place another block here. Scale it. Flush with the other side. Cover this uh, inner frame bit that's poking out. We add one more brick. Got three studs tall for a second. Four studs wide. Six studs outwards, and scale it down to eight studs. We've got the knee now. In order to cover up the rest of this leg. The yeah. entire leg. No! Anyways, let's scale this upwards to eight studs. So let's just scale this bit here to six studs. So we add another block here, just like the offset. Make this four studs long, eight studs all at a block here and then down a little slightly place another in front and bring it in place a block here and here fill this through and one more here and here and we scale this to be four studs by four studs anyways now that bit, that bit's done we can scale this not scale i mean i mean clone and this here so that the other side can be completed There we go. Got the front part of the lower leg done. Looks pretty bad, but as I said, we gotta, we gotta fix it later in the next part where we make your build good. Or actually make my you build, make good. build good. So we put some four by four there, two by four here. And another one. Oh no, actually this is six studs tall instead of four. This one will be four studs. And we add another four stud tall thing here this odd like i don't know chevron doesn't really look like it but you know just gonna eat down now anyway six studs here put a four stud by four stud offset by another stud so block two block and three block but we scale this one up now the lower leg's done now we just continue uh mirroring onto the other side of this leg with our travel tool, which you hopefully have after the last part of the tutorial. And last part, boom, full leg done. Wow, I'm stuck. Now that that bit's done, you can just carefully select each piece here that's actually armor, which I'm not going to. I'm just gonna select this part that I already have prepared and we just go to clone and move it till it's about right. 
Easy. Yep, there we go. Now the lower legs are done, and your mech's got boots. At least he's got drip. Let's go to the very easiest part of this build, the thigh armor. Not really even the thigh, like the hip armor. Alright, we place like one block here on both sides. Place another one, play the inwards and scale it up a block. Place another one here, scale it up. This one inwards, do the same on the back. Then let's add one here, scale it to be six studs on the other side, and then down so that the length is eight studs. All right, now the thigh armor's done. Wow, that was so easy. Hopefully the rest of the tutorial will be easy. Troll's saying it will be hard. No, Troll's didn't say that. All right, let's go loop this onto the other side. We just go to rotate here. And boom, thigh armor's done. And now it looks even more stupid. Anyway, so let's just add a block here. Color it red because we're not actually going to do that. So then we just place this block here and delete that block. It really was useless. Clone it above, or you could have just built that, but I just used to clone it. All right, so we continue this a little bit here, but don't actually. You gotta add the next part about one stud downwards or half a block. Let's just collect these two parts, clone them one more time, bring them forward a bit, bring them inwards and down. Do that one more time. We do it one whole block. After we do that, we just gotta scale this part down a block down and this one half a block and then half a block the other way and on 0 0.5 for a second then turn it off so that we can just add this bit after adding that you can now add this one here and here and here and here and here and uh, over here and then bring that up here and then scale it to here yeah, and then we clone that whole thing to over here we select this bit and bring it over here and then select this mega bit and bring it over here and then we can select this little side of the bit like the whole thing this time that's right here and then we clone it you know actually those ones all right we clone this be over here and then rotate it so that it's over here and then we got the little underwear bit so let's continue yeah this underwear bit so we gotta scale to six studs actually looks like we clone it downwards this be like that of this one again but slightly less so just over here and then one more time over here three more times so one over here and then one time so that is over here. Looks like we scale it to be four studs. And then we just we just do the same on the back. All right, place block here, scale it here. Place block here, scale it so that it's here. Clone this block here, and then move it so that it is over here. And then you also get this part, and you scale it, clone it again, so that it's over here, so that you can bring them over here. We just add this here and scale it. Place another brick and put it here scale it through like the other one but then we have this part here and scale it through looks like this bit and be scaled all the way this underwear guys mechs don't actually have underwear by the way anyway so select that little bit that went all the way through and bring it down one just scale it in on both sides we do that. Looks like we place one more block. Scale it so that it is the exact same on both sides. As you can see, the little the, the crotch bit and this piece here on the inner frame of the thigh kind of intersect. But this should be okay unless you experience an issue with the thigh. And you may or may not want to delete that bit. Alright, looks like our pants are done. Looks really bad now. And the interesting new shapes that we're introducing on this tutorial, like this cross bit, looks way different to the old Proto MG. But we decided that this new tutorial should be more advanced. It, should be, it shouldn't be for like intermediate build. This should be for advanced build. I want to uh, customize the build design of our, you know? On this part here, which we will explain at some point in the future, we can just 
block slightly there, bring it in, turn it into a 4x4, four four, and scale it through to its 4x4x6. Four four Once we do that, looks like we add some more 4x4 four four blocks. Actually, let's just add this one here. Maybe 4x4, four four, but then 6 does. Advanced for advanced builders who want to make an advanced build. Oh. Yeah, you can just clone this up, or you don't, or you can just like not clone it up. But like, why would you, you do that? You know what? Fill this through. You can do some more cloning. What a nice addition to the game. Clone this bit and scale it again. And just add this here. This 2x4x6 sides again we have a little bit here that kind of intersects but it should be fine unless your game says no and in order to make sure that these bits here on the back don't just fall apart we just add a little tiny block here that is two by four by six or actually four by six by two it's called an inner frame so it's harder to see all right now we move on to the front of the waist we place this block right here for now Move it in once, and then another time, not once actually. Move it in twice, and then fill it in. Once we do that, we can now turn on 0.5 to place that block. It's on the edge there, but not centered. And we just uh, fill it so it's one block, and then pull it through. Like we can do some more cloning. And more cloning so that it's over here and one more clone here so that's all the way over here right now we add another bit here we have to make it like this so it's three studs looks like this one is not clonable it actually has to be three studs and this one has to be two studs so that you can see that this little bit color in red cannot like touch with these parts so that yeah, so keep that in mind that this bit here shouldn't attach with anything on the lower door. It's up. very important for the joints. No! It is it's important! Moments before they destroy it. Low. You can low. Okay. On a 4x4, we just add this here. And clone it over here. And clone this over here. And then clone this here. Bring it down here, and then place a block here, and then make it one stud, and then scale it through so that it's 12 studs. This on the other side, over there. Because this was odd, we're probably just gonna use the clone tool, so we move it over here, and scale it, so it's like that, there. And then clone it again over here. Quite a lot of cloning for the lower torso. And we can actually just grab this part on the back, that's over here, and then clone it over here. You can see that there's still that edge might be an issue but probably won't because we have tested this and it doesn't seem to present issues let's just go over here to the cockpit area and let's go to our neon blocks so we can make the little core thing okay so neon make sure to pick your color which is going to be here if you're going to follow the template one to one so place this kind of like so it's got to scale it so it's 10 studs with another one that Complete this triangle shape. And you just scale it in. Just scale it up there. And then scale it out. To make it 8 by 3. Well, we place another one here. Scale it in. Scale it up. But it's 4 studs. And it's a 4 by 4. I was wrong! It should be by 2. 4 by 2. Now we go to our lighter blue, should be right here, right next to it. We were supposed to turn on 0.5. We're gonna place a block here, like that before, but 0.5 down. We do the same thing, but 0.5 down. One block, kind of like this, which is weird, but you just gotta bring it up one, place another block, and you have to move it in one that and scale that. Looks like the core is now done, so I believe we can turn on one move and go back to our default color. Um, I think this one here it looks 
four by fur. Twist another one. Bring it, scale it to three studs there. And scale it inwards so it's six. Turn on 0.5 for a second. Turn it off. Make this, I think, 10. It should be like this. Yeah, it should, should look like this. So there's two full blocks out of this little bit on the center. One more piece here. Scale it in. And scale it in five studs. This is here on both sides. This another brick right here. Make it two by four. This is the other one on the other side here. All right, place a block here. Scale it down. Scale it through. So it has three studs. Clone this to the other side. Maybe you can turn on point five parts. Uh, scale that so it's like one by one by two. Final block here. That's three studs tall. This weird block on the inside right here. Should just fit it properly. And so it's 10. Two up here on the edges. Just move it up. Like so that's the top bit of the torso section. Let's select those again. Loan them down over here, and then push them forward so that they're over there. Make them four studs tall, and then clone them one more time. Bring them forward here, and then bring them down the here, the here, and then pull them inwards towards the center here. And then we scale them once more so that they're four studs on that armor. And we place a block underneath, scale it up one stud, and scale it to the other side. So it's 12 studs all the way. Let's select these parts on the very front again. And we just bring them outwards one more stud. That was what was wrong. This, about to place a block right here underneath. And just scale it. Other side, 14 studs. Looks like we also should have scaled here. Four studs. All right, we clone these again so that they're over here. And then bring them in. They're so supposed to be like this. So block on the underside. Three studs. Final bit. Select these. Clone them forward again in this pattern. And we just this block here. Got eight studs. Select it again. Clone it. A block downwards and a block or half block inwards. And then there's the major front part of the torso done with the core. Pretty bad. Now we move on to the back. Place a block over here and here. Our frame outwards and up. And inwards again. So we'll block on the center. In once. And then another time. Continuing here. This one has to be one stud tall. Clone this like that and color the inner frame again. Just color it the, this dark blue. Now we can return to our armored color. Place a block here and scale outwards one stud and then scale it through. Place another block over here. Make it a four by four. One, slay the offset. Make them four stud long as well. Four stud block. One block here. This this block like so, and then the four studs. Do the same on the other side. You can see that this part is really like intersecting, but it's still roughly safe for now. And finish off this kind of bottom area. There's a block there. Make it six by four. One block there, one block here. Just the block here to make it one stud. Scale it four studs. Studs. Place this bit here. Get three studs tall. And four studs thick. So we also should have been making this four studs thick here. Three stud tall block. Clone it to the other side. 
we turn on 0.5 for a second and place it like a kind of like an armadillo or like remove 0.5 now place a block here make it four studs tall and i believe the four studs in and we can clone it to the other side with some more blocks all right scale this up to be four studs in so it's six going to the other side another block on top make it five studs the rest of this back is easy so four studs one block four studs and then one block then the back is done it looks about right you can save go ahead and save if you wish now let's move on to these shoulder bits it looks like clone had like a bad time making last time yeah okay place a block here so like your inner frame color place another one right here make it six studs one right here and then the final one you can one stud thin of that inner frame and you can just clone this to the other side and that makes kind of little things that the head can like be in between place a block right on this gray inner frame bed here up here one down there but we pull it up one more that four stuff. Make this little 45 degree below here. And place two blocks. They're not. And place this block right here and here. And we scale them both to be 12 studs. Get a look at that again. Alright. Now we can place a block here. That's four studs. Right here. Make it four by four instead of just four by two. See another bit here that's almost intersection intersecting. This should be okay. Oh, it's a block here. Four by two. This one should be three, but then we make it four studs long. Basically do the same thing again, but it's not three studs, it's four studs. And here we had a block that's four studs down. One more block here. Seven studs. But we scale it like this. Looks like that piece is done. Now we move on to the front of the breast armor. Alright, place a block right there. Block underneath. Clone it down. Scale it one more time. Looks like we clone it down again. And scale it. Alright, place a 4x4 over here. And then a 3x4. Let's just clone this up here. Scale it inwards like that. Very important. And scale it outwards so it's just a four by two. Once again, we gotta do some more cloning. Like that. And make this six studs tall. So it's one stud down, one stud in, and then scale it so it's two studs. Here, here, and here. Then we add some more right here studs by four and this one four studs and more studs. i guess we're calling this one again for some reason and make that five studs kind of odd place a block here place one more here to make that two studs and this allows us to place this here and this here the breast is done we can go ahead and save and now we have to mirror this this whole bit. Use that to clone. Move it right here. Move this right here. Here, 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 and here. Clone. That's not thought. Bring it one stud more in. This. Gotcha. Alright, select here. 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 To clone and clone it. Um. Right here. Select here. Select here. In here. Select here. Right here. Right here. Select here and clone over here. 
Now both of the breasts are done, and it looks pretty bad. Then again, you have to make it look good, because I'm not gonna make it look good. You think the template's supposed to look good? No, it's a template. Templates need to be changed in order to look good. Anyway, so now we move on to the head, which might, may or may not be the hardest part. All right, place one block here, have your inner frame selected, and scale it so this right here will be a one by one by two block thing. You know, cut on 0.5, probably have to 0.5 for the whole head. I'm gonna scale this up while well, scaling it in. It's another block. I'm going to cover up this piece of inner frame. Let's scale that up. This is another block right here. Make that very thin. This is important. This has to be 0.5 offset there. And scale it more. Right now, this looks disgusting, but it's not quite done. So, place two blocks right there. And these should be one stud thick. 0.5 offset as you can see like that uh there like here and just move it down make it four studs long right, let's get out our rods and select our armor color right here and place one right here like that this like we place these like so for now and place them underneath and we delete these ones on the top. We need to place one right here, 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 and here. Um, place one right on this rod. One regular block. And we just scale it. Get our rods out again, so like inner frame again. Just place them on top of this little rod here. It should be on your frame. So these are five studs. And we place two blocks like so. Flush here, but 0.5 merged into this top part again. So place two more blocks, push them in, get them six studs long, like so. Place one block like this, scale it. One block like this, scale. And we have two rods placed like so on these little side pieces of the head and we go back to our block like this and we can just clone it down and i think we just place one block here make a two by four by two place most of the whole head done and we can just go ahead and clone here on to the other side And there we go, that is the head done. Now you can see that the head no longer looks ridiculous. We can finally move on to the last leg of our tutorial, the arms. All right, let's just move back into the one move territory. And we place two blocks on the edge of this gray bed. Place another one, scale it, and then scale it inward so it doesn't touch the uh, shoulder bit. Another one, do the same thing again. So let's, we can place a block and on that piece we just placed and scale it so it's like around the same as this other inner now that we've done that we can just select this clone move it in place the block here make it six studs long place the block here four studs long and do that again but we scale in one two i mean twice and then scale it out on both edges. Now we've done that, scale these down with two blocks, and just place a block right here. Now that we've done that, we can select it again. And use the clone tool so that it goes over here, slightly offset. Clone it again. And now that we've done that, you can clone these over here and push them out over here and do that. And now that we've done that, we can move this over here and move it up over here by doing that. Now that we've done that, actually, we can place a block here. We can place a block here. And since we've done that, we can place a block here. And we can place a block here. Place this block right there. So and then we'll be six studs and then place a block like that right here. And one here. Push it in. Make that, I assume, eight studs. Place a block here, here, Oops, here, and, and then here to allow us to place this block right here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and clone this. There. 
back. The shoulder pad is almost done. Block here, here, here. Gale it. This place one block here. Pinch it off. Two. On this edge. Okay, now we can just go ahead and clone it. On this last time on the shoulder. The main shoulder bit is done. Let's put this block here on the bicep. Six studs here. By four. And a tiny bit. Make that inner frame. Push it in one stud. And just do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I think Cologne might have forgotten on the tutorial. On the back of the bicep, we have these little bits here made out of it for the inner frame so that it blocks off the elbow. Let's move on to this. Let's move on to this shoulder pad here. Place it kind of offset. Four. Six studs. Two by four for the inner frame. So let's just place this block here. And then scale it up. Six studs so that it's here. So we've got a six by six on the inside. And now we have a four by four here on the on the bottom, and this may let us we can place a bl uh, one block here. Make this four studs tall. Turn on 0.5. Place a block like so. Place a 0.5 offset like that, and just scale it around this tube here. Or just block and clone it one more time. And scale it up two studs. Now that we've done that, we got most of the arm done. Now we just need to do the bottom, and we're basically done. Place a block right here. Three studs. Three studs. Turn it point five. It's going be taller. Four studs. Block. That's over there. And we make that six studs. And since we've done this, we can now place a block like here. And we clone this here on the other side. And we scale here. Select. Clone. Four studs. Four studs. Next, we can put the block here and then scale it. Very interesting. So, like that block we just placed, own it, bring it in over here. Now that we've done that, we can scale it. And now that we've done that again, we can select, I think, this block, and then when, and then by doing so, we could uh, clone it, bring it down, bring it here, bring it here, and then clone it. No, not clone. <laughs> and then scale it. Put it like here, and then clone. No, not clone. Scale. And we can select this four by four, and then we can move it to clone, and then move it over here. Once that has happened, we put the block here, and bring it down. And since we've done this, this two blocks right here. Scale. 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 No, that's not a scale, that's a block. Place a block there. Scale. Place this block here. Make it a 4x4 four by, four by scaling. No, it's still like this. Turn to clone. Bring down. And this will be 7 studs. And yeah, that's the main armor bit. And let's just add this pylon arm and just clone it down. Push it out. One stud. And we just rotate it the other way. Right here on the back of like the hand, just place one block. So it's one stud thick, and like so. All right, now that we've done that, probably save. All right, now that we've done that, you can basically just see, like you can just select everything we've put on this arm here. But I don't actually need to do that because I already have it. Select everything carefully. Like me, we could just select the armor from nowhere because I've already done that. Let me just move it over carefully, right onto here. Now that we've done so, you can just place one or no, actually we can just turn on one move. Place one rod here, 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 here. Make your regular block, turn on 0.5, color this inner frame, color it, do the same thing on the other side. Go back to your rods, turn off 0.5, the rod right here, 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 turn on 0.5, place a rod right here. Boom, your MG logo is done. Hit save, your tutorial is mostly done now. Now you just need to make it good.
Alright, so now that your tutorial is mostly done, we will be continuing on in the next part. We will probably like maybe make a couple of fixes and then explain how you may accomplish customizing the template. Maybe we can test first. So go ahead and save. Let's just select this corner so we can actually walk into the cockpit. Turn the collision off. There we go. Let's add a big. Now we can unanchor and see how this mech works. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, the waste doesn't work. Why? Okay, so you guys can go ahead and reload, but I don't have instant load right now. So I think the issue might be something to do with here. So I guess we'll solve that in the next part of the tutorial instead of right now. So we will finish this tutorial in the next part of the Proto MG tutorial playlist. MG? Whatever. No! MGO3 tutorial? No! Ah!